Good morning, and uh, I've been putting this video off for far too long, so I finally want to talk about when you're in context prep or you're dieting and you're counting your macros, what do you count and what do you not count? So it's basically like this, if you can see everything I have lined up. I want to talk first, if it fits your macros, flexible dieting, whatever you want to call it, even though it's, it's you know gotten very popular recently, there's still some bro science involved, especially when it comes to Splenda or off-brand Splenda, anything that's granulated sugar sweetened with sucralose. Basically, no, don't do that, please. Sorry about that. Basically, this is sugar, mal maltodextrose cut with sucralose. And what that means is you have one, one teaspoon of this weighs half a gram. One teaspoon of regular sugar weighs nearly five grams. So you got about 30% of the calories. This is labeled as zero calories because half a gram is less than five calories. Anything in America that the serving size is less than five calories can legally be labeled zero calories. So how would I count this? Well, basically, like I said, it's 75, roughly 75 to 80% sugar, and then the, the rest is sucralose by weight. Um, so what this means is one gram of this weighs about 3.36 calories, according to Wikipedia. Uh, you can check it out. Just Google Splenda. Now, sucralose has zero calories, but maltodextrose, which is the, you know, the sugar in this, the table sugar, has four calories per gram. So one gram of Splenda has 3.36 calories. Now, what does that mean for you? Um, it means if you're not using that much of it, go ahead and continue to not track it if you don't want to be 100% accurate. If you do want to be 100% accurate and you use this for baking and you use, say, a cup of sugar, a cup of this, a cup of this is not going to weigh the same amount as a cup of sugar. It's going to weigh significantly less, but you should weigh it and you can, you can go ahead and count it as carbs because, you know, let's say that, I don't know, you know, a cup is eight ounces, so that'd be eight ounces of sugar, but a cup of this is not going to be anywhere near eight ounces, it's going to be two ounces. So whatever, do the math, figure out how many carbs it is. I count one gram of Splenda as one carb because that's what it's closest to. A lot of people do half, half a gram of carb. I don't know why they do that because it's not very accurate. If you want to be precisely accurate, do 0.75 carbs for, per gram. That's, that's you know as close as you could possibly get. I guess you could really go like 0.8, whatever. Anyway, carbs in Quest Bars. A lot of people are confused. They, they don't know if they should count them. Like For example, this one is 17 grams of fiber, one gram of erythritol and one gram of sugar. It's 21 grams of carbs. To be safe, I just count it as 21 grams of carbs. That's what 3DMJ recommends. We don't say, well, we're not gonna count the fibrous carbs because they have less calories. Erythritol has less calories. We just count it as 21 grams of carbs. Um, and if you've heard about the lawsuit or whatever, I don't know if it's, it's false or not false, but I just count it as whatever the carbs it says. Now, sweeteners like this, this is made with erythritol and stevia. Um, it's listed as zero calories. It probably has some trace amount of calories. I count it as zero calories. And then again, I don't use the whole thing. But anything, so stevia, sucralose in liquid form that's not cut with maltodextrose has basically zero calories. Uh, Mio, which is, um, which is sweetened by sucralose as well, as well as uh, some, some other things, zero calories. Walden Farms probably does not have zero calories, but there's no data on how many. I mean, look, a 60 milliliter, that's 60 grams, is still listed as zero calories. So it's very close to zero calories. If you're not going to be using half the bottle at a time, you're very safe to count this as zero calories. The same with this. I mean, this is a 28 gram serving, that's one ounce, still listed as zero calories. Now, if these were half gram servings, then you know you might have some confusion there, but I would say zero calories. Now, these drinks, which this red one is very delicious, by the way, uh, for a while I was, I was drinking this white one in contest prep every now and then because I would just be tired, you know, low, low carbs, low energy. Anyway, it's listed as one gram of carb, but it's listed as zero calories. You might wonder, how is that possible? Well, this is sweetened with erythritol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol. You often find it in, uh, in gum. It has 0.2 calories per gram, 0.24 to be exact, per gram. So it's listed as one gram of carb. The carb is a sugar alcohol, 0.2 calories. I do not count this as a gram of carbs because one carb has four calories, you know, an, an actual carbohydrate. 
not a sugar al alcohol like erythritol. So I do not count this. It says one gram of carb, but I don't count it. Unless I'm drinking several of these, you know, even a serving size is two, that's still going to be 0 0.4 calories. I do not count that. Diet Pepsi, I do not count. This is, um, this is uh, sweetened with uh, aspartame and uh, ACE K is what they call it. It's, how do you pronounce this? Acesulfame potassium. ACE K for short. That's the sweetener in this. Aspartame and ACE K. I do not count it. Zero calories. Um, and any other liquid form of sucralose, again, I don't count that either. Um, the only other thing that, that we can mention here, where's the pan spray? Cooking spray. Now, this is listed as zero fat, but that's because it's the serving size is a quarter second. A quarter second is listed on here as 0 0.25 grams. This is pure fat. It's not fat free. There's nothing special about it. One gram of this is one gram of fat. You can measure it if you want, or you can just be responsible when you use it and don't, and don't be like, you know what I mean? Spray it as you need to. Use a nonstick pan if you're counting macros, if you're low in fat. Otherwise, be consistent. You know, use the same amount daily. But I, I, I wouldn't count this because it's very difficult to count. I know people that try to, you know, they, they weigh their pan, spray this on, see if it changed. I mean, you're dealing with a scale most of the time, a kitchen scale, that has a one gram resolution. So you're not going to see a big difference. You could have one gram, you could have two gram. It'd just be very inaccurate. So I would not count it. I just would be consistent. Um, if you have any other questions about things you would count while you're counting macros, just let me know uh, in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And uh, I guess that's it. Cue the outro.